everyone. I'm going to do a tutorial today on making um, a jacket for an 18 inch doll. And this is the pattern right here. It's Quick Sew 3091. I don't know if this is still um, being made, but if not, you can probably find it on eBay, Etsy, or somewhere like that. Uh, but anyhow, this is the view that I'm making right here that black and purple one and I have made several of these and they have turned out so cute so all you need is three pattern pieces you need uh, let's see let's start from the beginning you need number 11 which I had this one backward because it worked out better because I'm trying to stretch out my fabric but this is number 11 and this is going to be the front this is number 12. This is going to be the back. And then this is number 13, which is going to be the tie. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to uh, turn the camera down to my sewing machine, and I'll be right back. Okay, so to get started, you want to take number 11 and 12, take your pins out. Okay, so like I said, number 12 is going to be your back piece. So there's your back piece right there. You put it on the fold. And so you want to take one of your uh, front pieces, and you're going to do these right side to right side. And you want to line it up just like this because this is the neckline right here. Right there's the neck. So you want to line up the ends like that. Um, I think I'm going to use my clips because if you use clips when you're trying to sew this, the fabric is stretchy certain parts here and uh, it can really throw things off. So I always like to use my clips when it comes to uh, stretchy fabrics because it's so much easier to maneuver with. So let me go ahead and put my clips in here. I thought this, I mean, this pattern is so easy. And I've had it for so long. And I always felt so intimidated by it because, you know, it looked hard. And Quick Sew is not one of the easiest pattern companies to try to make things from. But then I started making it, and I said, wow. I said, this is really easy. It's really simple. So, I mean, all you're doing is you're going to sew three pieces together, the two fronts to the back, and that's it. Because the tie, you don't do anything to. Uh, you don't have to worry about sewing it because you cut it on the fold. So it makes it a whole lot easier. And so what I do is... I'm preparing my fabric. So what I did was I went ahead and clipped it all along the top edge of the sleeve. Let me, here you go. And then I also did the underarm part. And that's the way I sew. I like to do it like a production line. So I'm going to go ahead and get the other side done. And this jacket, uh, from the time you cut it out to the time you sew it up, probably what 10 minutes and that's it so I have had a lot of fun I've made six seven this will be my eighth jacket that I've made my first one didn't turn out that great so I'm keeping that one and that's on my doll now and uh, then after that I made six more so then this one here and I think I'm going to uh, give this one and then make another one for my grandchildren. I 
my granddaughter's birthday is getting ready to come up March 21st and uh, so I'll probably make her some doll clothes for her 18 inch doll and send them to her she lives about two hours from here so I'll probably just send her something in the mail because from what I understand she may not be home I think they're going on like a family cruise or something my daughter's always going on a cruise I think she wants to make the make the gold membership or something <laughs> My daughter, she's something else. She's always, she's always enjoyed going to amusement parks. And now it's all this cruising they do. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to, I always like to set my clips up here. I've got, you know, really high space in between here. So I can set my clips up here or my straight pins. That way I can just like that. All right. Oh, and then I'm also using a walking foot. And I'm using the walking foot from the Madame So Company that came out of this box right here. And you have seen me do a video, a, a review on this. And I'm using number, number five. Yeah, I'm using the number five foot out of here. And this is the five piece kit. And I love this walking foot. Well, I really love, I really love all the feet. I got, uh, I've got all the feet. I've got the 32 piece and then I got the five piece. All right. Anyhow, we're not talking about Madam So, but I just want to let you know that I'm using a walking foot. The reason why I'm using a walking foot is because it's so much easier to work with stretchy fabrics. That's one thing. It's a lot easier to work with stretchy fabrics because right here, there's Teflon underneath. And as the foot is uh, sewing, these little Teflon feet are going up and down, up and down. And you're going to see that when I start sewing. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got my machine all set up for the sewing mode. And I love this machine. I'm using this machine more than I am any other that I have. All right, now I'm going to show you. See? I'm going to go slow so you can see. You see how the foot, go uh, the Teflon part goes down as the needle goes up and then they come back up when the needle goes down. So it makes it a whole lot easier. So I'm going to do a backup stitch because I want to make sure I get the neck really good and secure. And I go kind of slow. Alright, now and see how the feet are just going up and down and up and down and there I don't have to worry about the fabric stretching out of shape or anything but see how that works so if you don't have a uh, um, if you don't have a walking foot you need to invest in one and uh, there's a lot of good walking feet out there but if you've got the money check out the Madam so because their their products are a whole lot better you also get a CD to go with it, which I haven't looked at the CD yet. Okay, so you can see. All right, now I'm to the end of the sleeve, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up because I want to make sure that I get the sleeve all locked in good. Just a couple of stitches, and then and then cut the thread. Okay, and see, that's how it came out. All right, now I'm gonna do the underarm. And I can't see that well, it's kind of dark. I'm trying to keep track and make sure you can see. All right, here we go again. Now, I'm starting at the bottom of the sleeve I put my needle down like that. I'm going to go a couple of stitches. That's my tack stitch it just did, but I still like to do a backup.
If you're not used to sewing, go kind of slow when you go around the under the arm area. Be real careful about that. Then I want to back up. And cut the thread. Alrighty, now I'm going to do the other side the same way. All right, and then you cut your threads. Let me zoom you out a little bit. There we go. Turn you around this way some. Okay, now it is not called to do this in the instructions, but I do it because it takes out the bulkiness. I'm going to trim, I'm going to trim from all the way around here, trim my seams down to maybe an eighth from the seam line. So I'm going to do that on both sides. I think my scissors need sharpening. I have used up so much fleece making these jackets and I've also made some ponchos too and I'll do the video on the poncho. That's out of the same pattern. Yeah, I think I got it all. Okay, and then I always double check and make sure my sleeves are even. This looks a little crooked, so I'm going to straighten it out. And then I always check, I always check down at the bottom. So I just lay it up here, make sure I got everything even, because sometimes when you're cutting out fleece with it being so stretchy, you're not going to get it even a lot of times. So as you can see here, I am cutting the back to be even with the front, because there's too much on the back. All right, now, the next thing you're going to do is... You want to lay the, oh, I forgot, you need to pull, get it right side out. So go ahead, just right side out. 
Now, and what I usually do is I usually like to get the uh, seams kind of evened because we're going to work on the collar part next. Get everything flat and even. Let me get this out of the way. Let me bring it in just a tad so you can see. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to bring back these collars like that and put a straight pin right there to keep it um, in place and then you want to bring this collar back here like that and put another pin there. Alrighty. Now your jacket's ready. Now I take another step that is not called for in the pattern. I do little tacks here and here. That way the collar stays in place. So I will show you how to do a little tack. Where's my straight pin? I mean my sewing needle. I just had it out a little while ago. Okay, maybe I'll put it back in my pin cushion. Oh, here we go. All right, so what you want to do All right, I hope you can see this. Let me see if I can get you in just a little bit more. Sorry for my hand was in the way. I'm trying to make sure that I can see what I'm doing and so you can see. All right, I'm gonna do right here and I'm gonna go up underneath there like that. Make sure you get it taut. And then you wanna go back down in the corner of that I'm going to go back down in the corner and go back underneath the collar. Then go back up underneath the collar again, coming back up. And then go back down one more time. That way you know that it is not going anywhere. Okay, and then right here you want to go up underneath where you did all the stitching under the edge of the collar and you want to t uh, make a knot and I usually do two knots like that alrighty and then Clip it off as close as you can. Take your pin out. Okay, I think I've got enough thread on here where I can do the other one. Okay, and again, I'm going to show you again just in case. All right. Let me uh, swing you down a little bit because it's easier for me to do it down like this. All right. Here's the edge right here. Go like that. You go underneath. Okay. And then you pull the needle up. 
and then you go back down in the corner of that collar just like that I don't know if you can see this or not but anyhow and then you go back up underneath on the corner of that collar again and then go back down again on that corner I usually do it two or three times there's no exact number to do it because this is something extra that I'm just doing to make sure the collar stays in place now I've got the needle let me zoom you out alright now you've got the needle up underneath the edge of the collar okay and then just bring it under like that make a knot bring it back under again make another knot and bring it back under again and tie it off take the pin out back it. and you just fix it up like this Okay, now, the last part to this is the tie. And there's nothing you need to do to the tie. You take the pins out. You get the wrong side. You put it behind the jacket. Okay, and you want to bring it up right around underneath the... Um, the arms and just tie it off like that and there's your little jacket see how quick and simple that was took about 10 minutes to make okay well you have a good day or good night whenever you're watching this please subscribe click the like channel and leave comments and questions bye bye for now